just long press the set button to enter the programming mode but we can only access the F1 and F2 by the way the F1 have a default of negative 5 and this F1 is temperature set parameter and it's a tantamount to set point in Dixel control so our set point here is positive 1 degree celsius because this is chiller and just press the set to memorize and let's proceed to F2 and F2 is return different setting and the default is 2 degrees celsius and we're going to change it to 4 degrees celsius because 5 minus 1 is 4 degrees celsius therefore this is our F2 and F2 is return different setting which is tantamount to HY in Dixel now I want you to look carefully guys no matter what keys I press we stuck at F1 and F2 and this is tantamount to programming mode in Dixel once you press the set and are down button for 3 seconds you can only change minimal settings so same with this STC does 9200 which is product of Elitech so all we have to do now is to access the hidden parameter and to do that guys just long press the set button and arrow down button see same with the Dixel I don't know if they have the same designer or engineers and here is it guys so F1 appear the F1 is already set and let's proceed to F2 already set now F3 guys is max temp set value so the default is positive 20 degrees celsius and we're going to set this to 5 degrees celsius because my chiller setting is between 1 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius if ever guys that we have a different set point for chillers just do what is your standard in your country and may this tutorial be a guide and reference for you guys and just press the set button to memorize and let's proceed to F4 and F4 guys is minimum temperature set value and we have a negative 20 for the default and we're going to change this to positive 1 because our F1 is 1 degree celsius and F1 is temperature set parameter so same with Dixel guys F3 is US in Dixel and F4 is LS in Dixel just press the set to memorize and let's proceed to F5 and F5 is compressor delay protection and it has a value or a default value of 3 minutes if you want to use this function guys just set it to one minute or in my case i don't like it so i just press it to zero and after f5 guys next is f6 and f6 is the frost cycle and we're going to press the set and the default value is six hours and, and i'm going to set this to four hours so my unit will defrost every four hours next is f7 and the default is 30 minutes i'm going to set this to 20 minutes if you want 18 go ahead and after that let's proceed to f8 and f8 is defrost termination and it has a default of 10 minutes but i'm going to change this to 8 minutes which is ideal for chiller and next guys is f9 and f9 is 
water dripping time after defrost and it has a two minutes so just keep it and next is f10 and default is zero zero is electric heater while one which is the hdg is thermal or the hot gas defrosting using solenoid valve the rest parameters guys just set it to default and and your unit is now programmed thank you